An arithmetic series has a sum of 15 equal to 93.75, a common difference of 0.75, and we know that term 15 is 11.5. What are the first three sequences of the series? So a couple things here. We've got some information. We've got some formulas. It tells us a sum. So I know that I have two formulas for sums. What I want to find out is, is there enough information here with either of the formulas to figure something out? Okay. If I go to the first formula, if I write it out, n term 1 plus term n divided by 2, if I look at this formula, I ask myself, how much information could I put in there? Okay. I've got sum 15, so if I put that in for 15, I would know S15. N would be 15. Do I know term 15? Yes. In this formula, when I look at it, I can see that I know everything except for one piece of information, which is term 1. So that means if I plug things into this formula, I can use my algebra skills to rearrange it so that I get term 1 by itself. And would term 1 be helpful in determining the first three terms of this series? Yes. Okay, so let's do that. Let's plug things in. 93.75 equals n would be 15 because I'm doing S15. Term 1, I don't know, but I do know term 15 is 11.5 divided by 2. Now, there's no one thing that you have to do first when you're, when you're solving something algebraically. A couple of things that I like to do is if I do have fractions and I'm doing some work, I like to get rid of the fraction right away. Can you see that this whole side is divided by 2? The opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2. So if I would multiply by 2 on both sides, I am going to get 93, 186, 187.5. Someone check that with their calculator. And I would still have 15 term 1 plus 11.5. What do you do with a number outside of brackets? Yeah, multiply it out, right, or distribute, okay? So what we could do here is we have 187.5 equals, and if I multiply this number through, and 15 times 11.5 is 172.5. Now we've gotten rid of our brackets, we've gotten rid of our fractions, it becomes quite a straightforward solving for T1. I'm going to subtract the 172.5 on the other side. I believe that gives me 15. Oh, this is nice. All of a sudden the numbers turned really nice. Okay. And if I divide by 15, I get 1. I will put that button away. All right. So we've got term 1. Does it make sense for our sequence that term 1 is going to be 1? What will term 2 be? Do we have enough information to figure out term 2? Term 2 is going to be 1.75. And term 3 is going to be, add 0.75 again, 2.5. There's term 1, there's term 2, there's term 3. If we look back at what the question was asking, the question was asking the first three terms of the series, not of the sequence. Okay, some little tiny words here. Generally speaking, on exams and tests, you'll more often see the same question, but they'll say sequence because they'll say 
You're more often used to dealing with sequences. There's my term one, there's my term two, there's my, my term three. If I wanted to find the first three terms in the series, technically, what happens when I just add one? I still get one. But if I want to add the first two, one plus 1.75 will be 2.75. And one plus 1.75 plus 2.5, if I added those together, S3, 5.25. And if you look at the answer at the bottom, all they did was say, if you're adding one up here, if you add two, you could do that in your head. If you could add three, it would look like this. Technically, the way that they've worded it, this should be the answer on the bottom. Well, but they're not asking. This is the series first term, and this is the series' second term. So it's a little bit of technicalities here. I'm not going to worry too much about that. You won't, you won't get those technicalities on a quiz or a test. But it's just good to talk about them because definitions are a key thing in mathematics. So it's good to be able to say, okay, what exactly were they asking for? I think if they... This is the first one in the series. This is the second one in the series. This is the third one in the series. And I would write it that way. But the way that they've written it is like this, which kind of implies these three numbers. And if you had a question similar to this in the homework, this may be how it appears in the answer at the back. So I would accept that if, you, if a similar question came up on a quiz or a test. Now the questions that you can do and that we're going to take a little bit of time, about 10 minutes to work on now, are 7, 10, 15, and then 16 is a challenging one, so, so that's one I'd like you to, to attempt. It, when I put a challenge one up there, that means that that would be beyond the difficulty that I would ask on a quiz or a test, but if you're able to do that, then you show that you really have a mastery of these ideas already.